especially for the price tag. <laughs> Thought that comes into mind. No. I'm just lying though, but I don't know. Baby, that's my agent. <laughs> I gotta tell you something I could do. Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Elma. Thank you so much for joining me for this Pat McGrath concealer powder review demo wear test. We're gonna get right into it. I do hope you like this video. This video should have been up a while back, but as you can see from the kind of like little switch up of my background, I kind of redid my beauty room. Just like one thing changed in all honesty, but if you want to see all that, be sure to check out my video over here in the card. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a little snack or something, and let's get right into it. Enjoy the video. Okay, let's get right into it. I have the goodies over here, and I have Sephora right here. So, first things first I have to say is, let's talk about packaging real quick, because honestly, this, like, anti-pads, can we stop these, like, plasticky packaging and just stick to the cardboard that's like you know more biodegradable and more like planet friendly because like it is cute it is nice but i don't think it's necessary i much prefer this it's, it's so much more sleek anyway the packaging is not what is important but i do have to talk about it because it does create so much waste and clearly our planet is in need of a break okay so Let's do our when best. Pat McGrath came out with her foundation. It was like a $90 foundation. I don't remember how much the primer was, but I I was like, no, this is, I, I can't do this. Like, although it is a foundation that could potentially be up my alley, it wasn't necessarily something that I felt the need to buy given that I have so many foundations and a couple, like one or two foundations in my collection that are like, semi-similar so I was like I'm gonna pass on that but I was in need of a new concealer and I have really been into like powders like under eye face powders might do a video about that by the way because my dry skin is like so particular about the powders that it likes and I think I found the ones that work best for me that don't leave my skin feeling extra dry and cakey so if you want a video like that let me know so the concealer is called the skin fetish sublime perfection concealer it comes in 36 shades and it has a nice shade range i must say and it retails for 43 canadian dollars and you have the skin fetish sublime perfecting blurring under eye setting powder that retails for 40 canadian dollars and it comes in three shades you have light medium and deep this kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury along that line. So I feel like it's a kind of powder that's going to work for everybody, kind of. And Auntie Pat being who she is, I think that she's very conscious about, you know, providing to everybody. So that is very much appreciated. So um, little details about this concealer. So what it is, a creamy, lightweight, lightweight full coverage concealer with a natural radiant matte finish that brightens the under eye and hides the appearance of blemishes so the coverage is full the finish is natural the formulation is liquid and it's for normal dry combination and oily skin types so it's for everybody so the powder says it's a brilliantly blendable ultra weightless under eye setting powder that brightens and blurs for a luminous soft focus effect i love the sound of that it's a light coverage it has a natural finish the formulation is a pressed powder and once more it's for all skin types so these are products that are for everybody so always a good thing so we're gonna get right into it i'm just gonna open this we're gonna like i'm gonna like wear it and everything and we're gonna have like a whole wear test situation i think that they're way more helpful than just demo so from now on all my videos about like skin products if i'm gonna be reviewing them they're gonna have at least a six hour wear test minimum if i can do more 
thank God if I can't. Well, it is what it is. It is a glass bottle. And I'm gonna open this. A couple of influencers getting this in mail and there's like powder everywhere. So when I ordered mine online, I was like so scared that there would be powder everywhere. So this is the moment of truth. It looks fine, it looks fine. However, I'm a little bit disappointed that this feels cheap. It's very plasticky opposed to the concealer that's a glass. So I, I don't understand why you wouldn't have this a bit more weighted especially for the price tag okay so the shade i got for the concealer is m15 and m15 is described as a medium with yellow neutral undertones that's usually what i go for for my concealers and um from using the Sephora website as like my like shade finder, my foundation shade would have been M17. Is medium with neutral undertone, so I do like to have that little yellow underneath, so I can like really hide the darkness. So we're gonna get into foundation application first, real quick. I'm gonna go in with my primer. The primer I'm using is the Banana Bright Face Primer by Ola Henriksen. I really love this primer because it's also like it kind of like doubles up as a skincare as well it's brightening it's hydrating I'm not mad at it and like I like how my foundation looks like on top of this all details of products that I'm using are gonna be in the description box so if you don't see it up here on the screen do not worry everything is always listed in the description box for foundation today we're gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation really like this is in 355 n I do have a full review and actually a wear test of this foundation you can find over here if you're interested and yeah what's is duty is probably a smidge too pale but we you know what we're gonna we're gonna make it work either way okay so we're gonna go straight in what i like about this again i swear like all these products with glass we're gonna see how it fares when it when we can finally travel um but it does have a doe foot applicator that's like quite bendy and also that's kind of like bent so i like this kind of applicator because it just like easily fits in there we're gonna start a little because it does say that it's full coverage so we're, we're gonna go in guys we're gonna go in i'm just gonna i'm gonna go like this first and we're gonna see what Good. I must say that the applicator does grab a nice amount of product. I still have some on the back. And since it came with a, a brush, I'm gonna actually apply it with a brush. I usually apply with a beauty sponge, whatever beauty sponge I have on hand. Okay, so the brush that came with I don't have it so i'm gonna be putting a little picture over here so the brush is the skin finish sublime perfecting uh, perfection concealer brush it retails for 43 canadian dollars and it says an ultimate concealer brush that offers a unique angle shape that allows the intuitive application and control in sharing blendability and superb lay down so i would say that from the look of the brush it's actually a brush that i could actually go for like i like the shape of it, it follows the same the same shape as the doe foot so i find that very interesting i do like that sort of like continuity maybe i should have blended it right away but it's never a bad idea to allow it to just stay i'm just gonna blend out it's not that bright i could have actually gone for like m14 would have would m14 be my shade one second 14 says it's light medium with neutral olive undertone whereas m13 says is light medium with yellow undertone so i might have even gone with m13 actually but you know what it's okay because this means that it's gonna be a concealer that i can also wear for every day because usually for every day i don't like for my under eye to be like that bright gonna do a full beat yeah for sure I want it to be bright, but when I do a regular beat, 
I just turn that go with some more. It did, it, it did do some covering. We're just gonna bring that down here a little bit. I'm gonna apply some over here as well. I do like how it feels on the skin. And it's very, very, very creamy. So I'm not mad at that. I'm just gonna use the brush to just like blend it out like this and then I'm actually gonna go back in with my beauty blender just to see how it plays with it we're gonna zoom you in in a bit like I do like how it feels on the skin let's go in with a beauty blender so it really does like blend over here so it definitely brightens it does really look nice like, on the skin and the under eye like it doesn't feel heavy or anything but if you do have like really dark circles under your eyes i would recommend that you color correct prior because over here let me just zoom in because over here and here like I can still see like the shadows kind of so we're just gonna add a smidge more over there like I don't like to bring it all the way close here because then like I have like little lines but we're just gonna put in just a little here we're gonna allow it to sit a little bit hmm interesting 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 I'm actually gonna use this so it dries it a little bit but it's not like sitting in fine lines or anything we're gonna set that asap with the powder and i'm actually gonna go back in with the brush i'm actually gonna use this one from morphe because it's like denser and like kind of bigger as well so i'm just gonna this, this area i personally don't feel that i need a lot of correction under my eyes but usually if I'm, let's say I'm using the Born This Way or like even the Fenty, I feel like it does a really good job at hiding the little like blueness that I have in this area specifically. But I do like how it sits on the skin for sure. Like I like that a lot. So maybe with a combo of the powder, it's gonna do something. I much prefer using it with like a denser brush like this like i feel like it doesn't take away from the product i feel like i'll do most of the blending with a brush like this and just to be sure that it's really imprinted in the skin i would just go over with a beauty blender just to unify everything like just to you know press it into the skin kind of i'm gonna go in with the powder and the powder i took it in shade medium and i'm just gonna be using the usual brush i use for my under eye these days like i don't like the only time I really use a beauty blender these days like with powder under my eyes is like if it's a loose powder and specifically if it's like a brightening powder. Um, I don't bake as much as I used to. If I am baking it's like with a pinkish powder just to really brighten that area. Um, but on a daily I usually use a brush and this one is from Morphe and it's the E48. If you don't fucks with Morphe, another one I really love is from e.l.f. is the small tapered brush. Same kind of brush as well. And I'm just gonna just roll this in like that. There is some kickback, like it is like powdery, but it does, like it feels very fine. Definitely feels very fine. So we're gonna press that in, tap off the excess and just press it in that area. looking up so it doesn't like set into the fine lines to make sure i'm gonna re-blend this a little bit just to make sure i'm not setting anything in my fine line right i'm gonna press it in it feels a very it feels very light on the skin but it does look a little drying remember we're not baking we're just like setting it I don't know if for my skin tone it would have been better that I take the light powder to truly have that brightening effect because it does not feel extra brightened in any way. 
but it does it does look nice what do you guys think it looks really nice like once i like stop touching everything it doesn't look so bad but i still feel like it looks a little bit dark here because i don't want to load my under eye either you know i'm gonna finish the rest of my face and i will be right back with my thoughts and all that i swear now that i have a swirly chair woo, it's amazing okay my head's spinning woo. I feel like it's a nice natural beat kind of what do you think I'm gonna zoom you guys in so let me just look at the time real quick I want to say it's been already an hour 45 minutes since I finished doing and like attending to my under eye and I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna have a little looky-loo it's honestly looking really nice i kind of want to take back what i said at first because like i feel like since i've put it on it's like it it's set and it's kind of like like it's like the coverage increased as it's set and it really looks really nice let me just and like the under eyes really feel like it really feels nice I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm looking into the monitor and it's really looking good. I'm not mad at this. So right now it's 3.37. I'm going to come back in a couple of hours and we'll see how it goes. I'm, I, I think I'm going to have like one check-in plus my final thoughts. Oh, the sun is finally coming out. Yay. I'm going to go outside and, you know, get some natural lighting footage so you can really see how this um concealer looks like but honestly like so far so good i really do love how it's come to set from the get not convinced but like an hour later mm, this is nice and it feels nice on the skin like it does not feel drying it feels really like soft so far so good we're gonna see how it holds up okay so i'm outside on my balcony and my weave is going to the wind but who cares and this is what my skin is looking like how my under eye is looking like i'm actually using my iphone 11 pro max with the front facing camera and there's like a little bit of sun kind of like covered by the clouds but it's actually perfect lighting so i might be taking a couple of pictures right now but i'm not mad at how this is looking so far so i'm gonna check in with you guys in a couple of hours and yeah teary eyes okay, so i thought i'm gonna give you like a quick little update you could probably see from my face and from the tone of my voice that i'm actually really pissed right now because my powder just broke just broke i was taking a couple of shots for my thumbnail and just escaped it not like harsh or anything and it just kind of like just shattered like the top of it just like shattered and it actually just really pisses me off because like this is like a 40 dollar powder and the packaging is shit like i'm not gonna like mix my words around it like the packaging is Shit. Like I don't understand how the concealer has such a heavy weighted glass packaging and the powder has a, such a like plastic flimsy packaging given that the powder inside is so finely milled. Don't get me wrong, the powder is really nice so far, still enjoying it. But the experience with this, like it was a fear of mine, like when I saw that all these other like YouTubers like their powders were breaking like it's something i do not like i don't like thinking that okay i bought this and it's gonna break in my bag because of like transportation or whatever and like honestly like when you compare this packaging of the powder to let's say for example like a laura mercier powder or an hourglass powder where you feel like it's a little bit more weighted like there's some weight to it you can tell that you know the powder is like gonna be like protected and just you know in there whereas this is so freaking like look at this shit like it's um i'm angry like <sighs> this really annoys me because like i'm also like a little ocd so like this kind of mess really like messes up with my mind really love the powder hate the packaging with a passion but with all due respect 
change the packaging of the powder because this is like subpar it doesn't like it doesn't make sense editing elma over here so this is gonna have to make do as my final thoughts because for some reason my final thoughts footage is looking bomb but there is no sound whatsoever like actually there is sound but it's going in and out like some footage has sound some footage doesn't have sound and i don't understand what happened and it's just like thinking about this now is just giving me anxiety for like future filming because i'm like wait what is this new thing of my sound cutting out like my mic didn't give any indication that it was on mute or anything so it was how many hours later like i think i started like it was at like three something and when i did my check-in it was like 10 something so it's about like seven hours of wear test which is like really bomb and i actually wore a really 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 well like i was really happy about how um the, how the concealer looked at the end of the evening one thing i love to that i especially look at uh, in regards to complexion products is how it fades out throughout the day and it fades out really nicely it actually did not fade at all to be really honest pre it looked pretty smooth obviously i wasn't out and about or anything i was just going about my day in the house doing you know just regular regular things but it stayed on really really nicely that my under eyes look super smooth super nice and honestly it's the kind of like concealer i would say wait for it to totally set to form your opinion to see how it tr will truly look like because upon first application i was not impressed but after about yeah about 30 minutes or so i there's something there's like some kind of magic that happened and it just looked really really flawless under my under eye i would say however if you like your under eye to be super bright you might want to go a shade lighter the shade i went for was m15 but you could probably do like m14 or m13 depending on your undertone so check make sure you check for that concealer itself i will recommend it wholeheartedly it's a really nice concealer i I love how it applied i love the consistency of it it is not drying it is not heavy on the, the under eye it does have a really decent coverage it's not like the coverage of let's say the shape tape for instance um i would say it's a kind of in between the fenty beauty and the two faced um born this way concealer like i feel like this just drops right in the middle of that and yeah it's a really it's a really really nice concealer when it comes to the powder so the powder is kind of tricky because I really do love the powder the powder is so finely milled it really sets your under eyes beautifully I teared up a little bit during the day and it did not budge it stayed on really nicely it was like super smooth as well under the eye and it didn't feel cakey or heavy or anything like that so for that the powder itself amazing chef's kiss seriously however the reason why i would not recommend the powder and why i'm actually pissed at this powder is because of the packaging if a packaging of a product doesn't work with the product is it worth getting the product in my opinion no especially with this price tag and especially especially coming from pat mcgrath labs i am so stunned about how shit the packaging of this powder is because it truly truly takes away from the experience of what is actually inside the pro like the product itself is freaking amazing it's probably the best powder i have tried this year and because the powder is so finely milled i don't understand why it was put in this press form i believe that if it was maybe a loose form in a small you know with a sifter packaging it would have worked perfectly fine because this powder is too fragile for such a shit packaging if you're an mua with a kit this is so not friendly for your kit in this form which is such a pity because the powder and the concealer amazing so yeah those are my final thoughts on this product i'm so sorry that this is how the video had to end wish me luck that my footage doesn't go out of sound anymore now that this is this
can possibly happen you can imagine that my anxiety levels when it comes to filming is gonna be like through the roof <gasps> is there sound is there no sound like i'm gonna oh gosh <sighs> fingers anyway, crossed guys stay safe stay home if you can wash your hands and i will see you in my next video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more from me subscribe and just watch any of the videos that you see pop up on my screen and i'll see you in the next one bye be safe